Oh my god, I did it again. Man, YouTube, I apologize for keep making these build videos because I'm sure you guys are tired of defending these builds, but I'm sorry, but I'm back. But this time I'm back with another center build video, and I think I just created the closest thing to Wilt Chamberlain in this game. This build is dominating every mode in the game, if that's Rec, Pro-Am, Park, it's gonna dunk on people like this. It's gonna get rebounds like this. Oh man, enough talking, let me show you. And here it is, y'all. It's gonna be a seven foot center, 263 pounds with a seven foot 10 wingspan. You wanna go with the 84 driving dunk. We do not wanna be a liability on offense whenever we catch the ball outside of the paint. We wanna make sure we dunk the ball from far away every single time. And don't think I was gonna forget to show you guys the dunk animations. As for the two foot moving dunks, you wanna equip this one right here. The athletic one handers off too as for the front clutches off two as for the one foot you want to equip the quick drops off one and you want to equip the baseline reverses off one as for the standing dunks you want to make sure you equip the one and two hand dunks under basket regular athletic both of them as well one and two hand you want to equip both contact dunks as you want to make sure you equip lebron james ben simmons and carl anthony towns as signature dunks as for alley-oops you want to equip the pro alley-oop and equip both contact alley-oops which will be the pro and big contact dunks as for motion styles, you want to make sure you equip Drew Eubanks. Why? Drew Eubanks is the only motion style on NBA 2K24 that lets you move faster on both defense and offense for big men. So it's extremely important that you equip Drew Eubanks. 92 standing dunk to give us the gold fast twitch rise up area wizard and this beautiful badge right here, precision dunker. This is the key badge that's going to help you get a large green window every single time you try to go up for a dunk meter. So important, you guys see the clips right in front of your eyes. As you guys can see how effective the 92 standing dunk is with that gold precision dunker. Give me this rebound. I didn't even try to use the dunk meter in this position and I still had a contact dunk. Rebound, try to get a putback. Get my own rebound, wait for him to jump. Dunk meter. Mm. We win with an 80 free throw for all my people that like to play Rec and Pro-Am. So that way you're not a liability whenever you get fouled and you can knock down both free throws. 78 pass accuracy is perfect. We are not Patrick Mahomes. We are not trying to grab a rebound and throw the ball 95 feet down the court. Our job is to grab the defensive rebound and give it to our point guard. And on offense, we grab the offensive rebound and do an icon pass to one of our teammates that's wide open. The speed to which the ball gets out of your hands into your teammate is perfect with 78. I got no issues with this whatsoever. Here's one of the examples of how good the pass accuracy is. I get the rebound and I get the ball perfectly in the corner. 74 interior defense. I talked about interior defense on my last center build video. It is absolutely pointless in NBA 2K24 to have a high interior defense. Believe me when I say that interior defense does the job. I'm able to turn around and recover baseline to get a contest. I'm able to stay in front of this guy, jump and get the block. Look at this next possession right here. I'm able to cut him off pick up the dribble, turn around, defend it perfectly, and oh man, that 99 strength helps out a lot too. You can have something as low as a 70 interior defense and a 95 interior defense, and there's going to be no difference to what you're going to see in the paint. The whole reason interior defense is in the game, in my opinion, and just to get these three badges right here. The reason we went with 74 was to give us that bronze post lockdown, but the real reason we went with 74 and 87 is to get that silver anchor. If you guys were not aware, there is no point of having gold anchor. Gold anchor and silver anchor are identical percentage wise on what the badge does for you on the floor. Let me remind everybody that all the clips you guys are watching today are clips from just day one of the build when it was created and i was able to compile all these dunks all these blocks being able to play strong underneath the basket the build is absolutely amazing you guys will love the build do not be afraid that 87 block because it gets the job done being able to move away from that left corner being able to recover to the paint immediately turning around and contest and block the shot 
you either want to try to target silver anchor or go for hall of fame anchor that's when you start going to start seeing a real difference between badge levels 93 offensive rebound you guys see it this build jumps out of the court just to get every single rebound and if you guys don't think the rebound is good enough just look the proof is right in front of you there's another demonstration of the pass accuracy it got to my teammate perfectly no issues with that whatsoever this build I'm, I'm, I'm saying it on over and over and over again this is the closest thing that you can make to Wilt Chamberlain you guys see how athletic he is whenever he jumps and grabs these rebounds it is a beautiful sight to see grabs the offensive rebound dunks right over his head look how the leaping ability it is so athletic this is the closest thing to Wilt Chamberlain on NBA 2k24 84 defensive rebound 63 speed and here's is what makes this build so special the 99 strength to bully everybody out of the paint set crazy screens because of this beautiful hall of fame brick wall the animations you will get with this hall of fame brick wall your point guard is going to absolutely love you as a center if you're able to have this 99 strength because the animations you get with the brick wall is absolutely lethal and he's going to love it 81 vertical to help you get those rebounds and just fly and soar above everybody and grab those rebounds every single time 96 stamina to get workhorse on silver Don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click that like button i'll see you guys on the next one later y'all